Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. It is Sunday morning. I think it's about 10.30 um, in the morning. I just got back from Walmart. Sorry if it's a little dark. It's really rainy and gloomy out today. But I haven't done a grocery haul, I think, in a couple weeks because I've had family coming in and out. So I wanted to get this filmed, and I'm going to try and get it up today as soon as possible after I film it. So I'm going to start in the back. This haul was $200. There were some bigger ticket items that I had to purchase. Um, I grabbed this Kleenex 3-pack mainly because I had a really good coupon on any multi-pack to save two dollars so it ended up being like 250 I think I don't really need tissues but we go through quite a bit so I got these because of the coupon a gallon of water for the Keurig some of our favorite um, coffee creamer this is the Almond Joy International Delight Grady's Peter Rabbit organic pouches which he brings to school a can of these white cannellini beans for our recipe this week some pirate's booty um, for Grady some Cheetos for snacking, and then these are my latest obsession. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know um, they are these Snyder's gluten-free pretzel sticks. I actually got these in a snack box, and I love them. And I'm not really even a pretzel fan, but these were so good that I've been obsessed with these. So I got two bags. I got a big thing of organic um, green kale for a recipe, a couple different recipes because there's quite a bit in here. Some smoothies for Grady. Some of the P3 protein packs. They actually didn't have the box of five that I normally get, so I just got um, a couple of these to throw in Matt's lunches this week. Some wet ones just for throwing in my handbag when I'm out with Grady. Some cat treats for the cat. Some of these little travel tissues to throw in my handbag as well. A small thing of half and half. Two of the bird's eye steamer bags of mixed veggies. Walmart has the best price on these, they're a dollar. Some of the Deli Fresh blackened turkey breast. There was a long line at the deli, so I went with these this this week. I got some of this Italian dry salami for snacking. I'm also going to make some pasta salad. I got some organic chicken thighs. I'm going to do some Mississippi chicken in the crock pot. I think actually tonight because it's a rainy kind of gloomy day. Uh, we needed some AAA batteries for a lot of Grady's toys and just household things. So this was a bigger ticket item. I think it was like $17. Some of the chocolate original Jello pudding, big box of the um, Starbucks Pike Place, which was a bigger ticket item as well. Some Yo Plate yogurt for Grady's lunches. I got a Tree Hut um, sugar scrub in the light sheet and plum. I've had this one before. It smells awesome, and Walmart has a really good price on these. I believe they're six forty-eight. Um, I got a big thing of raspberries. Good price on these. They were like four dollars for this. I got some of our favorite wood cleaner, the Murphy Oil Soap for cleaning all wood surfaces. Some Sargento tomato basil and jack cheese for mass sandwiches. A big thing of these country style pork ribs, which um, probably can get two dinners out of these because they're big and I can only eat one. They are large, so I'll just portion these and freeze half and put the other half in the fridge for barbecuing this week. Some cat food for the cat. Um, the wet food, the Sheba, I just got like a mixed variety pack. Some um, bumblebee salad white albacore tuna for um, tuna sandwiches for Matt, and I'm also going to make some tuna macaroni salad for him as well. Some bananas, a big thing of navel oranges. Grady's in a big orange phase right now. So I got the big bag of these. I got some ciabatta bread rolls for sandwiches. Two things of our favorite juice, which is the white cranberry strawberry. My favorite um, smoked sausages by Dukes. Walmart has the best price on these, hands down. They are $4.48, and these are amazing. Um, I got the Gatorade Flow, which is absolutely delicious. I've been working out um, starting you know the past couple weeks more often, so I really like these. It's just a really smooth um, taste. I got a big thing of the Stouffer's French bread pizzas for days like today on the weekends when we want just a quick lunch and don't want to go out and get anything. Some of these Gogurts uh, for Grady's lunches. He actually likes the Stonyfield organic ones, but they didn't have any, so I went with these strawberry and punch flavored ones. I got some organic um, juice boxes, the Capri Sun or the pouches, the fruit punch flavor for Grady to take to school. Some of these Belveda cinnamon brown sugar breakfast cookies which Grady takes to school for breakfast and then these I want to talk about because they're super delicious as well I did do I snapchatted about these a few weeks ago they are by good thins and they are the beet balsamic vinegar and sea salt chips they are so yummy 
so I grabbed one of these. Again, this haul was 200 because of the bigger ticket items. We also got a case of bottled water, which is in the garage, and I'm gonna share with you guys my meal plan and then get this video live today. Okay guys, so meal plan for the week starting today, which is Sunday the 23rd through Saturday the 29th. Tonight we are having some of the Mississippi chicken. I actually have it right here in the crock pot. Just turned it on about nine minutes ago. And this is gonna be our dinner tonight. I'm just gonna make some uh, mashed potatoes later. Tomorrow we're gonna do some grilled ham steak on the grill with a hash brown casserole. I do have a cooking video for this hash brown casserole. I will link it below. And just a simple toss salad. Tuesday we're gonna do some of those barbecue country ribs. I actually portion them out and I have um, them in the uh, freezer already to go portioned out. So I just put three in one bag and three in the other and I'll pull these out to thaw out when I need them. So along with the um, the ribs, I made some pasta salad. As you can see, I just made it. So we're gonna have some of that on the side. I'm also gonna use this to portion out for uh, Matt's lunches and lunches for myself. And then we went to a farmer's market, um, a big one yesterday, so we got some fresh corn. I'm gonna do corn on the cob. I actually got a bunch of veggies at the farmer's market, which is why I didn't have to purchase a lot at Walmart today. Wednesday, I'm filming a video on my um, my instant, my um, stock pot, which is a recipe that came in the cookbook with that pot. It's called Clay Cooked Italian Stew. So I am gonna film a video on that along with the review on the actual pot. So here's the pot, guys, that I'm gonna be doing the review on. It's the Smart Organic Multi-Crock and Stock Pot. It's actually a clay pot. So again, I'll be sharing that recipe um, with you guys as well as a review on this because I know a lot of you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this. Thursday, we're gonna do shrimp tacos. I actually have a bunch of frozen cooked shrimp that I'll just thaw out, chop up, and do um, like taco style in some flour tortillas, some guacamole and chips, and then some yellow rice. And then Friday will be leftovers or breakfast night depending on what I have left. I know this stew makes a lot, so we might have end up having um, this Italian stew Friday. Saturday is kind of a question mark, but as a backup plan, we're gonna do burgers and hot dogs on the grill. I'll make some potato salad and veggie skewers, but I did put a question mark because I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be in the mood for that. But that's the meal plan for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Have a great day, and I'll see you really soon. Bye, guys.